Okay, okay, that's fine. Let me let you let me let that go. All right, so we wanted to talk about life. Uh, marriage, career, and lifestyle. And um, there's so much that's been happening. First, I have to start with you guys breaking the internet last week about there was a bowling alley in your house, a John Toledo Law. Whose idea was it to build a whole bowling alley in your house? I think it was both me and my husband. Because For real? Um, yeah, hmm. because my husband is more like an active person, so he likes to play sports. So it's just one of those things we put in the house for the children, for ourselves. Nice. That's good. That's good. So, um, now, I want us to go into your life. I mean, we'll come back to issues of your lifestyle and what you do at home. Um, tell me about your growing up. Because a lot of people don't just... Shadi Akoya just came to us. Mm -hmm. We didn't know you from anywhere. We just said, ah, she's getting married oh, to Alaji Akoya. Yeah, this is young, 21-year-old. That's all we knew. Tell us about your growing up. Because I know that you're, you, you spend a lot of time with your grandmother. Who taught you a lot of values? Tell us a bit about that. I'd like people to hear that story. Um, my grandmother was, has always been there for, for me and the others. Right. Because my mom, my mom was a working class woman then when we were growing up. Oh, and wow. I similar, yeah, I have similar thing now happening to my children as well. So while I was raising them, my mommy was always there to fit in the gap for me. Oh, so cool. Similar thing I have when I was growing up as well. My children, practically, they have growing up as well. Hmm. So I think it's just like uh, a family thing. So you are Oma Agba? Yes, yes, I'm Oma Agba to the core. <laughs> what are some of the things your grandmother taught you that you like to share with us? I think she makes me, uh, she made me to be a better cook. Ah, yeah, are you serious? The, the discipline, yeah, the discipline is different from when I'm not Blue really choose. disconnected. But, by young Blue mom, juice connected. I was trained by Abalagba. So she mm. put all the discipline thing in me. And you know, um, my children are going through the same thing now as well because they are home Agba too. Even, <laughs> even if I'm a young mom, but they were yeah. trained like home Agba. Grandma is with them all the time. So did your grandma ever spank you or what did you do anything? Could you share a story of, of something course. that she did that, that you of did that course. she spanked you? Give us one of those stories. Of course. Um, I've always been a disciplined child right from when I was young. And mm. I, oh, I, I know what I wanted in life. You didn't steal? You didn't steal? You didn't uh, do something no. like grandmother had to no, go your people? I don't, I don't have to steal because <laughs> I, I would hurt and I would get it. But my mm. grandmother, you know, one of the things she would beat me for is maybe, you know, okay. Then I used to like some certain kind of food. Okay. So when is this day or yam day? I don't like those kind of food. Yeah. And she would have wasted her time or she would have all her efforts to make the food. <laughs> and now coming to you, you now say you don't want to eat. So she would just stand there with her cane and said, oh yeah, start eating. Yes, <laughs> yes. Do this. Uh, my mm. grandmother was everything to me. She was everything to me. So your, your mom, your mom inspired your style of your, that your business um, acumen, your your career, did she inspire that by being a workaholic? My grandmother was a businesswoman too. Because oh, okay. Was, uh, my, my grandmother was into business too. She was selling for a bit then when she was okay. much younger. Then my mom is like a career woman. She's, she, was, she was a nurse initially. Then later okay. she moved into business. Then from right. there, I think both combination made me to be who I am today. Mm, fantastic. Well, my grandmother was always around though because my mom would go in the morning and come back in the evening. So right. we always, yes, we always talk with my grandmother. Just like you and you see so your children now with your grandmother a lot because you are always working too. Yes, when they were much young when they were much younger, my grandmother practically raised them because mm. then she would have all the nannies and then she would be the one coordinating and managing all the nannies for oh, me. Wow. So That's even if good. I'm not there, my children weren't missing out on anything much mm. because there's a mother figure. We had those children house. back to back, like pom yeah. pom 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 pom. <laughs> you, needed, you needed to have a lot of nannies to support. How was it the was house? Was it, like four, like four babies in a house. How was that? Uh, it wasn't much of a problem though because they came all together almost at the same time, maybe like a year <laughs> interval, a year interval yes. in between them. So yeah. we just had to do the whole job at once. 
So yeah, now it's like fun watching them grow. Mm, grow, grow. Okay. That's cool. Okay, let's talk about marriage because everybody in Nigeria wants to know. I don't know what their business is with your marriage. All the questions I got for you was about this marriage thing. And I know um, it could be quite sensitive because of the kind of marriage you have. Um, but the truth is, that what I tell people is that, listen, um, marriage is not for everybody. Some people who want to marry, fine. Those who are not married or who cannot marry for whatever reason, they should be, women should be respected and loved yeah. for who they are, not because of they are married or not. Okay. But those of us that have good marriages, it's important to let people know our stories, what we are doing right, so that others too can learn. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to touch on this thing that we see, that you look happy, you are joyful, you seem to you have a peace of mind. What is that thing? Don't jack your marriage to him do. What is that thing that's making your marriage happy that we're seeing and we're like, ah, this girl is just getting finer by the day. People thought that by now you have like a divorce. Maybe <laughs> auntie 21 year old, don't marry Baba 15 in Kiniko. Yeah, got at it that rule by now. But, but, but you're still 22 years, you're still together. What is that thing that you bring that makes your marriage so sweet? Uh, I think I respect my husband. And as you said, as you said in your question, marriage should not define any lady. Whether right. you stay married, married, or you pull out of a marriage for one reason or the other, mm. that shouldn't define anybody. But I think I stayed in my marriage because right from the beginning, people thought I was going to fail. Right. So, like, that definition of me, people knowing too much about me than me, myself. So I just want to prove, so I just want to prove everybody wrong. I'm like, no, I came into this thing. I saw what I was going into. Mm. And so staying inside is my own decision to make, not for anybody. Right. And I'm happy in my marriage anyway. I'm not saying maybe there's no up and down in my marriage. Right. But I, my husband, um, let me put it like, he's already a made man. Mm. And he's used to doing or having his things in a certain way. Right. So I just know I have to move myself and adjust myself to, to, him. to meet, yes, to meet his own to have mm. a successful and happy home. Right. right. So, I, you know, you can't change at Balagba. Of like course. Said, of you course. can't change uh, because he would always be right. And apart from even always being right, the age difference between us, I have right. to give him more than what I would expect him to put into it. Mm. Mm. So nice. for me, everybody knows. And you know, I told you I was raised by um, I was raised by Balagba. Oh, Balagba, yes. Uh -huh. So all those. Things, I I see your party. Let me smell it. Sorry, has knelt down. Hey, sorry. Hey, sorry. Like the clothes shanty. Can't stop that jackrabbit. Everybody, you've been kneeling down for everybody. Clothes shanty. So so that means it's actually it's not as if you are doing you are faking it. It's actually that that's how you grew up. Something yes yes, and that's the advantage of living with Balagba. Mm. So for my husband, it was just it came natural to me because. Is much older. Right. We have his teeth already in a certain way he's used to. Right, right. So I know that I have to mold myself to fit him to his own lifestyle. Mm. And if you look at it in the true sense of it, it's, it has paid off. Mm. At least this is 21 years of my life in my marriage. Wow. Wow. Which is wow. initially people would think, oh, one year, two years max. Probably. They were waiting that. for you on the road. They were waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're happy to see you happy. Tell me about when you just got married. Did, did, did he take you around the world? Did he like take you to exotic islands? You know, you think a rich, a rich girl marrying somebody who's so, sorry, a young lady, good lady marrying a year rich man. What happened? It was like a Cinderella story. Tell us about that. Funny enough, my husband was very strict from the beginning. You know? He told strict. me, yeah, he told me he doesn't want a lazy wife. That oh, if, you are, wow. if you are going to make this marriage work, you have mm. to give, you have to give something. You have to mm. put something into the marriage. Oh wow! I know that from the beginning. In way, he, he was clear right. from the about that. So oh. I think that helped, so me, that helped me actually because mm. it made me to know that oh fine, let me just fool me, dada. Let me mm. tie my own jar, dada. Yes, yes. So, so when you say work, you just want a lazy person. What does it mean by that? Are you want to start working in the company or working as a wife or working at doing house chores or Every, everything, exactly? to, everything together. My husband alone, having to attend to his own need, is he share his job on his own? That's mm. number one. <laughs> Couple with the business, with the job, with the industry. And you know, in Nigeria of today, running an mm. industry successfully mm. is not a tax. It takes a lot every day right. because you wake up today, 
by the time you get to the factory, it's something else you'll be meeting there. Something right. you didn't leave from yesterday. Yeah, right. So it's like right. the, the planning, the structuring, the day-to-day -day activity is mm -hmm. another set of job on its own. Right. Don't worry, we'll come to so, your career. We'll, we, I don't want us to mix it. Let us, because we'll, we'll leave marriage totally and go somewhere else. But going back to this marriage thing, um, a lot of young people see you, and, and one thing I always tell young people that come to me, listen, marriage is a decision. You make a decision, and that decision you make, you stand by it. You married an older man, no doubt about that. You decided, and it was a decision. How have you been, what, what have you, how have you been able to um, shield yourself from all the negative um, press outside? Oh, you know, all the talk people are saying outside. How have you been able to shield yourself from it? And focus on this, your husband. If you want to succeed in life, you don't have to hear what people say. That's mm. what I'm you have to stand That's by. true. If you have That's to succeed true. in life, is however you make your bed, people will learn to take it from mm. you. So negative Fantastic. comment doesn't even get to me because I believe oh. that I wanted something. You don't decide for me what I want in my life. Mm. I can only make you accept my life after I make it together. Mm. And it's whatever I make of my life that you now come to see and appreciate. Exactly. And appreciate. I have to mm. make myself happy. I have to be the the subject in mm. my in my matter. Right. So I shouldn't exactly. let any of, yes, I shouldn't let people decide what I want for myself. They can't decide yes. People shouldn't All decide right. whatever. When you, I was going to go back to the question of traveling. So are you telling me that you didn't? There was no honeymoon. You didn't go to no, any no, night. We, we used to have fun. We used to have a ah. lot of fun. Yeah, even, my children, so, even, my tell you, even my children will tell you that mommy and daddy is always enjoying themselves. <laughs> any anytime. Where does Chama like to go? Um, oh, different places. Bro. We do we do adventure when it comes to traveling, though. We do hey, a lot of about Balak, but adventure. Take it easy, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do a My husband is not at Balak, but mind you. Sorry, my husband is not at Balak, but ah, sorry, don't sorry. Let, don't let me find you today. Oh. I'm not being, never been. I'm sorry. I take it back. But you guys travel around the world. That's great. Oh, fantastic! We, we enjoy, we enjoy traveling, and we we make we make good use of our time. Oh, when fantastic! We're together, when we're together. You say you cook for your husband. You still cook at this time. I'm gonna say a whole. No, no, I, cook, I cook every day. Eh, different, different kind of meal because dinner time in my house is a special time for us. Oh, only when that's we go nice. out, only when we go out to eat, maybe for dinner, and we don't do that in Nigeria anyway. We yeah. Outside, when we are outside the country, we eat out all the time. But one oh. day in Nigeria, I have to cook my husband meal myself. Are you for real? I, you still yes, cook I, his food? Wow. I cook his food every day. My, my, my cooks will get it ready, like, get all the things I need ready. Right. And I have to do all the cooking myself. Oh, I enjoy nice. cooking anyway. It's one of the passions I have. So even doing it is nothing to me. So when you want to cook, you remove your wig and everything, the makeup, and I mean, now become a, I'm, an, I'm a natural person in my house when I don't pretend <laughs> and I don't hide around anything. I'm very... Oh, fantastic. Me, the way mm. you see me is what you see in my house. I'm very down mm. to the earth. I'm like, I do my thing myself. Anything that concerns my husband, I can't give to a third party to do. For real? Hey, I have to handle hey, it. Hey, Leo. Me. Anything I thought it was a hey, Leo. <laughs> so I can't come to your house and give your husband something to bear. Daddy, move on. Go, Jawa. Daddy, move on. Say, Me, I can't and do that. Do you, do you know my husband is so spot to the fact that he doesn't eat outside? Most people will tell you that because it's only when I give it to him, I said, okay, Chairman, Oda, Ejessa, that will show to me taste. My husband oh. eat outside. The only thing you eat outside that you see him, you can catch him eating outside is maybe small chops. He doesn't ah. eat outside, but Moti by one year to the level that he just normal food. Oh, wow. Uh, let, let's say, for example, I get late from the factory and I had to cook. Right. Maybe my cook starts something on my behalf. He told yeah. day, yeah. my husband will know it's not my food. It's not your food. He will, <laughs> yeah, he will know. He will tell that, oh, shorty bear, she. Because he oh. will it you know, know. The, yes, <laughs> you know it's not yours. So, you said that chairman, sir, you call your husband sir, chairman. Is that okay? Yeah. It's acceptable in your house. Oh, that's yeah, very acceptable to us. Don't let my husband hear that one. Now I need me to give up my own, sir. You, husband, you, 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 have you, have your own pet, you have your own pet name for him. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. But you know how men can be. What's a few, can't you call me, sir? <sighs> ah, where's does you, anybody want, want, does anybody want that? 
I'm not everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Even in never, they never demand or ask for it. I only just mm. it's my own decision, and I said, okay, right. you right. comfortable calling him that? So raising your children, tell me, do they speak Yoruba? Of Did you course. raise them? How about Yoruba? Iran, you. I'm a no about Yoruba. Grandma children mm. now. Have you forgotten that grandma? That's true. Grandma was more, more grandma. That's true. That's true. That's nice. Eh? Ah, don't you see that picture? You see, uh, Olamide and uh, you see, you like, think about my lady, but that's no, interesting. No. Oh, my mm -hmm. God, did you spank them growing up? Uh, very well. Did very you used to deceive them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. That's interesting. Okay, let's move into your career. If I remember anything on marriage, family, I'll come back to that, but let's go to your career. We've seen the work you've done. I mean, Eleganza has like, I think it was 68 designs of chairs, I believe. Um, we have so many products out there that you're doing. And I was thinking, when I was growing up, we knew Eleganza. Eleganza was an established brand. But when you came in, we saw the, the change, how it became somewhat like a modern company. Tell us, what does, what are, what, what's your own input in what Eleganza is today? Tell us about that. Okay. Um, I think the new Eleganza Industrial City, where we are now, at the uh, Bejuleki area. Mm. So you are, um, it is a 35 hectare of land. It's a massive land, and we intend to do an industrial city that will have everything household produced wow. there. Wow. Yeah, so, and when, okay, like when you said, uh, do we enjoy traveling, or where are the fun places we used to go to? Right. So when we travel like that, even when we go on holidays, or we just travel for fun, I will see things I believe Liganza should be able to produce and sell okay. to the local market. So like okay. the chairs, when I will go to Europe or we'll be in a restaurant, I will see the kind of funny looking chairs, like those classic presentable mm. chairs. Yeah. And I know that, oh fine, we're already into plastic production. We can always bring this day in. So we mm. travel to a lot of trade fairs. Me and my husband, we like to do adventure. We go to trade fair. And don't forget, chairman loves to walk. So when you mm. say anything that has to do with Ishe job for him, yes. he will just He's ready. Say, yes. <laughs> so, like the best so that uh, kind of advantage, I had it to my side. Because mm. once I just say, oh, chairman, I would like to do this kind of thing. It's okay, fine. Check the next trade fair. You just tell the secretary, check the next trade fair. Let's plan mm. it. And just go like that. So huh. bringing uh, bring chair in, like the kind of chair you even see for parties now. Right. The guys really want doing that presently. For real? All those nice, is it, um, All those, yes, nice chairs you see at parties? Yeah. Yes. Hey, yeah. Wow. Apart from the ones they bring in from China, and the guys are right. them locally. Wow. So you them locally. Something, yes, which is something because the normal chair you see in the market, before you double it to sit down, most of them will be breaking. And it's not right. that I wanted right. to go for. So I just believe, mm. okay, everything plastic, everything nice, that we know is very, very expensive in Europe. Right. Let's right. bring it to these people. Let's bring it to the mm. market. Mm. People will see it and it's much affordable. It's cheap. So, and that's where the dream is. I mean, I know you have sanitary towels. You have soaps. I mean, you want to do baby, everything household. Baby right? diapers. Baby, baby diapers. diaper, no. Wow, yeah, interesting. See, yeah, we do diapers. We do soap. Wow. We do disposables. Those are the takeaway plastics. The ones with for the e tree. When I was growing up, um, the Okoya kids I knew, they used to work every summer. They used to work in their father's company. Are you making your children do the same? Because all, I mean, I grew up with them and they. Definitely. So are they working now? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they come to the factory. They come to the factory every time they come to Nigeria. And the ones here on weekends, they just go with me. And oh, you know, wow. even with the dad, they, like, most times they do the dad's techie tree because the daddy will say, okay, fine, come and sit beside me. They enjoy what we do because mm. we make them to understand that, oh, if you need to be something in life as well, just mm. learn the trade of your parents. We're not detecting to anybody to take after us, but it's right. a dream. And you know, mm. with these children nowadays, you have to just include serious prayer. Right. <laughs> apart, from, apart from giving them the training now, you have to put God into it as well. Uh, so they can carry on the legacy you want mm. them to carry. So, Talking about God. Do you pray five times daily? Yeah, I not I don't when I'm in the factory I don't have yes, time. To yes, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. In my house, we have a mox in my house now. Okay. We encourage okay. yes, we encourage this because even my children okay. they do uh what's this thing called? We have imam. To oh, okay. Teach them yes, Arabic lessons. Okay. When okay. I was growing up, I didn't like to go to Arabic school because the beating and the you know, they're so strict in those days. 
So now I just want my children to at least learn it the easy way, so they can right. appreciate mm. and understand what it means to have God. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So at least you teach them when they're young, so that at least they can understand what it means to to appreciate. That's good. Them. Talking about your kids, um, people always wonder how you've been able to keep in shape. I mean, do you do exercise? I mean, you have four grown children, and you look like you are twenty-one. As well as we are, our children are not even up to ten years old. We are already, you know, at a at a pump in different different places. How are you keeping your shape together? You do exercise every day? No, no, I don't. I'm even very lazy. I'm going to get back on track. Okay. But I think my job, because my job is very demanding, so okay. before I can do the whole day thing, it's already. And I think I'm lucky too as well. I eat right. I don't compromise on food. Only when pet- I do the Give me your perfect breakfast. What breakfast for you, lunch, dinner? Give me an idea. Honestly, I don't even do breakfast. Maybe when I'm on holiday, I do breakfast. Okay. I don't. A normal typical day for me, I don't even eat breakfast. Okay. But lunch can go. When I need to eat, I I don't. I eat everything. I eat everything. What's the last I'm time ready? you eat at night? What's the last latest time you eat at night? My husband doesn't eat early, so maybe like ten, eleven. Lale PM. Yes. Ah, we cannot 10, listen to 11. that advice. We can't and really you know, say, uh, I know, I know. And you know, that's even the thing. For even his age, because my husband sleeps very late. So even okay. at that time, he might not even get to sleep at 3, 4. So for him, it's okay. He has balanced it up. Wow. When they'll tell wow. me, oh, have to, I have to give him food at 7 o'clock. I'll keep telling him. But he doesn't, you know, it, it takes his time. You know what is good for him and what has worked for him over years. So it's not now for me to now change him. And right. he's working yeah. for him. Yes, he's keeping to his doctor's advice. So... Why would I want to be hmm. bothered? Hmm. Interesting. That's really interesting. So tell me, do you, how do you help? Your husband looks so healthy and young. You know, you see the man who was 80, we celebrated with him. And I saw him, he was active. One guy, ah, sorry, exactly. Don't you think that daddy looks so nice and young? One of the I think God has been helping me with that. You know, I'm very blessed with that. That grace. That's true. I think, uh-huh, God has been, he, he's, been kind, he's been kind to him. Mm. And my husband eats very, very well. That's one of the things I was telling you. He doesn't compromise on his food. Mm. He doesn't take it for granted. He will just not eat anything to fill up. He wants to eat. Give us an idea of what he eats because there are people listening to you right now. What does eating well mean? Yeah, he doesn't eat meat, he doesn't eat fish. What exactly is my eating husband well? He eats, very, he eats everything. Like when it comes to protein, he eats all. All those kind of things, but we introduce a lot of fruits into his diet. He right. has a lot of vegetables. Then, um, when I say, you know, it's not just about how what you what you give, is how you present it and what quantity of food are we talking about? Mm. You understand? Mm. It doesn't have to eat to, to fill up to say, oh, I'm so full. But right. sometimes you eat as much as little, and you'll be satisfied. Satisfied. Mm. That what I've eaten, this food I've eaten, is good. So that's okay. just more about him, and he would never compromise on his food. Mm. That's one um, thing. That's fantastic. We'll come to your life, your um, passion. I'll come to that, but I know Lamide is somewhere there. Can I see Lamide and you know Lamide there? Lamide, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me say hello to them. Hi guys, how are you doing? So you've been hearing my conversation with your mom. I mean, yeah. did she has she lied to us in any way? Please tell us. I mean. Is, I mean, what, well, she said she used to speak like, you guys speak Yoruba. Is that true? Do you speak Yoruba? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear. I understand. You can hear. No, but me say Yoruba. Yoruba, you can hear. For the next few minutes. Yoruba, no. Yoruba, Yoruba. No, I show. So, what me and my mom, I want to see your daddy. So, Tony. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. For real? So, what's, yeah. that, what, what, what's that meal she does the best? What's that meal she does um, well? I mean, I would say the meal that my dad enjoys the most because he yeah. loves tamala. Right. So yeah, and which soup? Four pounded yam with like egg goosey. Oh, nice. Yeah. And your mom does that. But she pounds yeah, like I herself just... or the, <laughs> the butlers or the cooks do that? <laughs> no, she doesn't pound the yam herself, but she makes the egg goosey. Oh, and nice. That's nice. Well, you know, like, what's your what's your style? I see you. I, I like the afro. I like the the Thank team natural. Much. Yeah, because I have dreads too. Tell me about that. How long did it take you to grow your natural hair? 
Um, I've been growing my natural hair for like two years now. Wow. And, um, basically, my style is just anything. I like what I like, and it kind of differs from that of my mom and my sisters. So. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> we can tell. Oh, that's cool. So tell me. I mean, I'm still on. Like, let me. I'll come to you in a minute. But you know that. So, what's that thing you like about life? You when you travel out to the around the world, where is the most exotic place you've been to? Um, I think it's Vegas because that's that's where. We yeah, the slot machines. Place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because every time we go to amusement parks, funnily enough, my mom will go there and will go on the ride with us. And, you know, she's just there enjoying and we all enjoy. So, yeah. Right. Right. That's cool. So did you make any money from, from in Vegas? From the slot machines? <laughs> I'm not old <laughs> enough yet. Oh, that's true. You're a kid. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, let me let me come to you. Let me do for a second. Let me do you, you, you and your mom obviously have similar style. You know, you I see your Instagram page. You have this nice, you like to take pictures and selfies. So how long, I mean, tell me about your own style. You, you, like you copy your mom's stuff. You, recently you posted about shoes. You stole 91 yeah. pairs of shoes. <laughs> how did that happen? Tell me about your own style. Okay, basically one day she went, I was seeing like, cause I saw um, some of these shoe videos like right. on Instagram and I was like, oh, this looks cool. And you know, cause right. we, were in, we were on quarantine and I was a bit bored and she went to work one day and I was just like, let me just go into her closet and take some shoes and just like make a video. So I did. Yeah. We made the video, and then it took a while to like edit and like make it like ready to post. But <laughs> she came into her room after like when I don't know when she noticed, but she noticed a while after that some of her shoes were gone, and yeah. she wasn't she wasn't happy about that. Are you for all. real? No, oh. she wasn't happy. But then when I showed her the videos. Then she liked she it. Like, yeah, she liked it. And she was like, okay. Like, she was like, okay, this is like, it's okay. She wasn't angry right. anymore. Yeah. Tell me about being, being kids, being rich kids. You know, you, you, people see you as privileged. You have, you can travel to any country in the world. Um, you have pretty much everything you want. How is that? Do people bully you or do you get privileges just because of your status as Okoya's children? Well, I mean, in like our day-to-day -day lives, like when we were right. like, in school, and things like that. Our parents don't really like to spoil us or anything. Right. So, like, honestly, I don't think you can really tell. Right. Like, honestly. They don't like to spoil us. And so, like... <laughs> what do you want me to say? She said, I don't even give you money. Yeah. You don't have pocket <laughs> money. <laughs> we had to fight for pocket money. It was, it was like, it yeah. was quite... A battle yeah we have to earn it yeah we do we for have real to, yeah, we have to earn it we work around the house and like help out and so what do you like, do around the house to get it we like we help around like not even only around the house also with like business and like work we help like wow. we go on holidays we go to the factory we work at we work there as well like maybe one of us will sit like with the accountants and like be doing the books like we actually work we earn our pay <laughs> Good to know. Does your mom or dad have any bad habits that you just can't stand? Um, like digging their nose, picking um, up, no. <laughs> just in this. Like <laughs> yeah, that's true. Who? Who? Like um, my mom. What? Yeah. Honestly, a lot. Everyone is always surprised when we say it, but it's true. For real? And she looks yeah. that good. Yeah. Did she do like liposuction or Botox surgery or something to you know to keep in shape? No. no, no, no. Just check. I'm even surprised. She didn't even exercise. Are you for real? She has great genes, then. I know. Yeah, she's lucky. Oh. So tell me, um, Lamide. I mean, you know, tell me places you guys have traveled to. What's your favorite city of the world? I thought she likes Vegas. Where do you like? Um, hmm. What do I like? My favorite place, I would say. Yeah, I like Paris. I really like Paris. Nice. I really like Paris. That's but, good. What? Yeah, it was what really, do you like about Paris? I've been there quite a number of times. It was really fun. Like, I think both of, no, I think we went to Disneyland a couple of times, and that was right. really fun. It was just, it was funny because, like, my mom, like, we didn't expect her to go on any of the rides with us, but she did right. everything. She, was, she matched us. Uh, like, every single <laughs> you so got, like three, like, like, three musketeers, I'm sure. <laughs> it was funny to see so let me do, I want you to take me around your house a bit. Let's where you are. Could you take me? Can you take, go on a walk? Let us see. Let us see where you are. Let's see a, a sneak peek of okay. the Okoya Mansion. 
take us let's just see where where you guys the, the dining area and all here yeah. cool because it has a tv so oh, that's the entrance is, yeah this is the entrance there's actually okay. three uh, there's three doors so this is one right, right here. so is that a bar there. okay huh? there's a door there's three entrances to this floor okay the whole floor is one room and then this okay. is like a small dining table here oh that's small okay wow yes. i didn't know okay <laughs> <laughs> and the bar. The bar. This is the bowling alley. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. This is that. Oh, cool. nice. So this is actually the floor that we had, like, um, the surprise birthday dinner for my mom. For, for your mom. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is where so, we're sitting here. Right. Okay. And this is wow. This is another. That's a living room. Okay. Yeah. So. Cool. It's like two. So there's like two little rooms, right? That's yes. cool. Nice. And then here we have like a big another, dining table. It is another dining table. Yeah, it is. Wow, I like this that. I like the shape. Like, yeah, it's really cool, I think. This whole yeah. floor is different in the sense that it's just one open space. Right, right. We have some That's games cool. here. There's like basketball over there. Okay, a table the tennis, indoor. Yeah, table tennis. Oh, there's a trampoline! The trampoline. Wow, yeah, it's so <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. It's like a game house. Cool. Yeah. Snooker tables I, and all. Yeah. Do you play snooker? Um, I mean, I'm not the best, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's cool. So, um, so, tell me about your fashion. You know. People think that you, you and your mom have, sim have similar style. Yeah, I know. Is there any specific type of fashion you like? That's what people say that we do. But I don't think so. Because, I, I mean... <laughs> okay. I feel like my mom is more like... Like, I don't know. More bougie, like, classy. And I don't think I'm, like... Right. That bougie in my style. I mean, I can see how sometimes... <laughs> I'd like to be really free and, like experimental in my style i don't like to like mm -hmm. put myself in just one like box or just do one thing right like right express myself and just see right. what works and just try new things so mm. i wouldn't really say i have like a definitive style right I right like to do i have to see what works like testing mm. okay. and, like just right. trying new things out let me talk to um Oin. Oi, so what's your favorite food? What's that thing? Do you, do you cook? Um, yeah, I do cook. Okay. I've learned to cook the best Chinese rice ever. For real? I gotta yeah. try that. I've gotta try that. I'm gonna, you gotta invite me over one of these days to try. Yeah, I will. That's everything in it, right? Yeah. All every... the prawns and the beef, yeah. chicken, the vegetables, <laughs> soy sauce. Ah! I love me some Chinese food too. That's nice. I would love to come over. So tell yeah, me, is there anything you're working on as a, as a, that you'd like people to know? Just tell us something about yourself that people don't know. Um, I do a lot of sports, actually. Like, I play a lot of basketball and football. Oh, that's cool stuff. Very active person. Ah. So you, were you really going for head girl position in your school? Or you just thought just a fake video? I'm actually going for the head girl position. Ah. Good luck. We wish Thank you the best. So when are they doing the elections? Um, They've just done the elections, and we're just waiting for the votes. Oh, keep your fingers crossed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Let us know. Let us know if you win yeah, it so we can celebrate, all right? I would love to celebrate that with you online. Okay, let me come to your mom now. Let me go back to your mom. Give the phone to our uh, madam. Hey, how you doing? Back so now everybody wants to know about your style, your fashion. Hey, let me tell you the first question people are asking me to ask you. Where all this your fine, 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 fine clothes, all the ashway be after you wear it, you take a picture and we've seen it. What happens to it? You just throw it away, or you give it to somebody, or you just, I mean, like, you never wear it again. We don't see you wear it again. How, what happens to these clothes? I have a lot of people I can always give them to. But Shabby doesn't come back into my wardrobe. Because it doesn't come back into your wardrobe? Up, they'll fill up the space for nothing. So, so you give it out. Ah, oh, that bill. Ah, that's nice. That's good. People would like that about you. So you give out stuff. Because I should be able to just fill up the whole... Yeah. Thing. So you just wear it. Because even, even the one you wore on your husband's birthday, that yellow, I think you... It was like a, you gave it out online, I think. You have pictures of people winning. Yeah, I guess, that yellow, I that yellow one. I gave some things out, but that one is still there. It's okay. still in the house. But I gave some so, copies of things out after my husband's birthday. 
So tell about your fashion, the, the wig, the hair, the perfume. Tell people want to know your style. What? How do you feel supposed to select the kind of hair you buy? Do you like do, do the curly ones, the hairstyles you buy, the weaves? I can get. I can get. I didn't get the question. Can you repeat that? Again? I said, how do you decide on the hair you get, the weave on? Do you buy it or? Or you make the get it, make it for you. How do you decide what style suits you? I see something I like, then I'll just tell them to make for me, you know. And um, I don't, I don't do a lot of experiments. Like my cousin said, I'm strict and used to a certain ways of doing things. So things that work for me, I just keep to them. Beauty regimen. All these here. When you can scrub, a mini, can you call cream at night? Morning cream, night cream, afternoon cream. All those things. Me, I can't understand it. Do you do it? <laughs> no, I, 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 one thing for me, I can't sleep with makeup. I have to take oh, off my makeup okay. at night. Then I use okay. a lot of clinic products. Clinic, clinic. products work for me. Oh, yes, they work for okay. me very well. So I have all, all kind of clinic um, products in the house. Clinic is expensive. I follow right? the stage. Yeah, I follow the stage. It works for me. Oh, that's fantastic. Good to know. Now, we see you fashion the bags i know i know we can't do it all but the shoes the bag you just accumulate all these bags and shoes you go to a store you just ah, when see the color here you buy it because even your daughter took about 90, 91 pairs and we saw the shoe i'm like wow these are beautiful how do you buy your shoe you, do you love shoes like that when i first got married to my husband yes we would go, when he would take me let's say okay we, we traveled and we get into a store because he, you know he does things for me like a young guy as well. Young couples would do. So uh, sometimes we just see peace, relaxing. I do, I do things myself alone now. But then when we mm. enter a store, my husband would just see like the same design of shoe in different color. I will tell you, start picking them. Now, I don't, I don't want to go around though. I'm tired though. Just pick this one. Now this one is okay. <laughs> then we just, I, I'll end up picking different colors of the same things. Even for clothes, oh. Marissa, just tell me, oh yeah, Emma, 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 Warissa, Edjo, Breaking, so much time you need to see us going out, I was just like, ah, Chairman, I can't keep on wearing the same thing now, this is the same thing, <laughs> no, I think he's used, to, he's used to that now, so it just let me no. be, and when I say anything good, I just want to buy, it's not that I have to buy, no, mm. it's only when I think I need it, then I just right, get it. Right. Because we see you take pictures, and that this the the bags are so exotic. You just did like this, and you touch. I don't to take a picture. Like this again, take a picture. So, do you have like a direct or a direct disposal? It just becomes natural to you. I don't know. It's just it's just me, but my children ask for the picture. Right, right. Okay, so um, now talking about lifestyle. Uh, there was a question I wanted to ask about your lifestyle. Do you dance music? Do you do you like? I know you don't. You probably gonna go go to parties. Uh, I mean clubs. You don't do clubs, but you do parties. All the people's parties. Um, when you go there, do you dance? Do you, are you do the baraje? Or do you still do your ah? How what's your what's your demeanor when you go out? Everybody that knows me knows I'm very very shy. So to even Baraja is not for me. <laughs> because I love, I, I'm not against people doing it. I always right. like and appreciate when people do it. But for me to get myself to do it is like, ah, you're asking for too much. Wow. Only, only, only when he's in the house, uh -huh, then I can be myself. Mm. But when I have to go out and... Mm -mm. You told me something in private that you have a lot of older friends. Yes. Why is that? I'm more comfortable with them, and I tend to learn a lot from them as well. I learn to, I learn a lot from older people. I have mm. young friends too. Don't get me wrong, but they are more, right. more private. Yes, mm. they're more mm. of private friends. But because when you of, told me that, I was like, wow, this is interesting because it's a good idea to have older people around you. Because now, is it because of the kind of person you're married to, or just because that's just your own life? Um, your own it way works, of doing it things. Works, it works better for me. And because, okay. you know, having young friends, you have to give them all the attention and the time. And the kind of work I do, coupled with the kind of man I'm married to, I have little time left. So that little time alone, before I give it to my family, my children, uh -huh. so you can see how to balance things up. 
but mm. all the friends understand because they are already into that kind of somebody said i should I ask you yeah now what kind of body shaper do you use <laughs> do you use a body shaper i use sometimes but not all the time because i get lost in it but i told you i'm lucky i'm blessed mm. honestly because i take things for granted most times when i'm with the children i mm. eat everything i eat everything typically but like my during my husband's birthday i was such in a hurry that i think the stress of planning the whole while that just got me as in i double up in size mm. <laughs> during that wow. period it's normal for everybody now the stress and everything just got me out and Mm. later I had to bring myself back again on board mm. so it's just like tell me know. how humility has helped you in your marriage a lot a lot because we, we today is this time that's our humility people are with stress and rage or humility but mm. how has it worked for you teach us so that we know it got me this far anyway it got me this far now mm. you just have to because it's part of life is how you should see yourself and live your life because it opens different doors for you let me just say for me or you it opened different doors for me right, right. it doesn't even cost anything anyway it doesn't Abby, cost anything. yes Abby. it doesn't cost anything so if you have it you should have it you should keep it mm. and if you don't have it try and learn to 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 work towards it we'll be rounding up soon i just um is there any final thoughts you like to share especially because one of the objectives of this um interview was people need to know who the real shadi okoya is we see the pictures we see the glam we see the opulence but we feel that i know that there's a, there's a there's a person behind that and it's that person i wanted to bring out today um is there a final message you like to give to especially young people um who would like to have a happy successful life as you what would, what advice would you give to them they have to be tolerant too. because mm, tolerance people, uh, tolerance is number one there's so many things in marriage different things in marriage and i think initially when you start marriage like you is the most difficult part the starting the starting years is the most difficult time because you'll be getting to know your partner there'll be different kind of thing you need to adjust to but for me Let me let me use my own example. I realized that when I first got married, like I I was just I see myself complaining too much. Like ah, oh, like you know, from the fact that I was raised by Balagba and coming into a Balagba home, I just see that some things like oh, how do I get this thing done? How do I have to do this one? But I was um a mother I'm ready to learn. I take I take correction and I adjust myself around anything I'm told I'm told to do. Yeah. So those period initially the starting point was always was very difficult for me. And I learned early in marriage that whether I'm wrong, whether I'm right, there's no need for arguments. Mm. Let's just say let because I don't even want that headache of having to carry any issue overnight or stretching it out of proportion. Mm. So just set so little at once and let it just go. Because you make yourself unhappy for nothing. And then you know when you are ha- unhappy, it might escalate into something else. So mm. I learned uh, you have to be submissive. It's not like you know when you say submissive, it's not like maybe you you are in a bondage or maybe you are you are you are being choked or right. yes. Uh-huh. It's not like I because mm. you you decided you want to be in the marriage anyway. Yes. You yes. saw the partner you wanted to go into the marriage with. So if you have taken that decision to go into that marriage, just try and let it work and just try and give it whatever you need to do. Just I need you to, I need you to clarify something. The submissive you said, is it submission to only your husband or to all the factors around him because there are factors There are other yeah. issues people I want to banle I want to kinik or kinik or do I just face this man or do I have to submit to all the I want to banle how how would you advise I I think more to my husband then concerning the I want to banle that you said there was not I want to banle 
right. because it was kind of just big mommy and she's like right. a mother already yes and we have we have our our space right so it's not like maybe uh, somebody is in anybody's way right but i think my, my um, priority for me was my husband right if i make that work every other thing will follow hmm. you understand what i see yeah because people tend to make mistake of seeing even our house more than the way we see our house ourselves <laughs> they, even know it, they even know it more than we because <laughs> live in the house. yeah so yeah you know people you just let them have their own opinion mm. because it doesn't mm. actually count in the in the true sense of the matter mm. but for my husband honestly people just think maybe i'm lucky or i put a lot into my marriage it's not luck works for me don't get it wrong luck works for me but i i give my 100 percent into my marriage right, right. my husband is, my husband is my priority mm. you know what she share because you know when you are doing a share that i know yes. i don't want to share mm. my husband don't know how to carry anything himself he's that small <laughs> to the level that you have to do something for him so oh my God. Around, walking my, around my house, I make sure that everything he needs is always around him. Yes. But at the same time, it's done in a tidy way that everything is still according to what you want it to be. Mm. My husband will shower and he'll be asking you for his, you know, all those basic, those small little things. He's always there. I just make sure that everything is just close to him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, that's is share. Yes. So, so I yes. took out my time to know that this is my priority mm -hmm. and it's my number one so i okay. gave it that whole uh, so when you love see everything we love that about you that's fantastic thank you fantastic. so when a man is now crazy about you they will say different kind of things that oh i know what mm. i'm doing because i did it well mm. and most people will tell me i will say yes you can't do it but how do you not want to do it and get the same results it's not possible mm. Mm -hmm. it's not possible now you should mm. be able to give something to get something right and men are not stupid when mm. they are being pampered they get everything they don't want to lose all those all those uh, values yes they, so, hey, all the benefits themselves. as well so when they see a lady doing all that much thing for them they will stick around mm. and they will take care of you in return well done. Thank you so much. I think I can wrap up on that. I think that's a fantastic way to wrap up this conversation. It's been a pleasure talking you. to you, Mrs. Shadi Okoya. And I'm coming to your house to eat that uh, Chinese food that Uyugola promised me because I love Chinese good food. But thanks for having us. It's a uh, uh, we wish you the best. Be most welcome. <laughs> we wish you the best. And regards to chairman and everybody awesome. else. I'll tell you. Thank you. Love me, day. Going to love. Bye. See you guys later. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye bye. All right. Okay. So we've been chatting with Mrs. Falasha de Okoya. I have like twenty requests. Whoa, guys, it is Sunday. We love Jenya. Everybody wants to say something. Let me bring in a few people. There's no time, baby. It's a go. It's gonna go off. It's on. It's an hour. It's going to go off. I would have loved to chat with you, but it's going to be an hour. I have a few minutes later. Maybe we'll come back and chat. I'm not sure. But um, it was really nice chatting with you, with, um, with Shade Okoya on this. I hope you learned a few things. You guys wanted me to be asking her questions about, about that matter. It's not easy, but I found a way to lay it. She was able to share with you um, her experience. Thanks for joining us. See you again next week, Sunday. Bye. <laughs> Are you sure you want to end the live video? End now.